Hi everyone and welcome back to another What's in My Wardrobe. It's getting a little bit colder so I thought this would be the perfect time to actually show you my jackets and coats collection. So, let's get to it. I have a jackets or coats and these are my essentials. I don't do trendy jackets, I don't do in season now and then it's not, well, you know, trendy jackets. I don't do that at all. I like to keep my jackets for a good couple of years so a few of these jackets I've had since 2012 2013 so it's all about taking care of your clothes understanding the material and making sure that you're storing it correctly you're cleaning it correctly you're dry cleaning it when you be and you know just overall taking care of it lots of jackets when you spray perfume or any other chemicals it can discolor so just make sure you understand the materials Let's start with my denim jackets. So the first one is a dark wash denim. It's from Woolies. It's the recollection and maybe about two years ago I thought I didn't like it anymore because it looked a bit not me and it had like it has this brown stitching so I thought it wasn't very I thought it was it wouldn't be me anymore. But because I am a lover of a capsule wardrobe and the brown stitching with the dark wash denim, I actually love it. I've fallen in love with it again. It's something that pulls an outfit together if you're wearing something formal and you want to just make it smart, casual, or you want to make it like semi-formal. The denim jacket just goes with it perfectly. If you want to do a denim on denim look, also beautiful, two different washes. And yeah, I know that it's a mixture of elastane, cotton and polyester, which I don't mind. The cotton is 86%, so great quality there. I like that it's elastin, it has like a, a light stretch, so if you are layering, you know, it helps. I don't do a lot of layering, it's not for me, so when I do buy jackets, that's why I don't have a lot of jackets, because layering is not my thing. I rather buy or invest my money in good sweaters and knitwear. The next jacket is also a denim jacket, light wash. And it has like a de-stressed detail. This I got from Italy from a store called Pimki. And I know for a fact that it's difficult to find denim jackets in the stores. And a lot of them are more trendy or oversized. And you can't wear that every day. It's not your capsule wardrobe denim jacket. So this was a lucky find. And I'm so glad I have it. I take good care of it, like mentioned. And many of you ask me, where can you get good denim jackets from? I know for a fact, Cotton On, Willies, Zara, but I also know it takes a lot of time. You can try Levi's if you want to invest a little bit more, but just be patient because it can be a bit difficult to find that perfect fit. I also don't like oversized denim jackets. I feel it just, it creates unwanted bulkiness and we don't need that at all. Moving on, this is a jacket from Zara. It has like a suede finish. It's, you know the thing is with Zara, some items are good quality, some are not, and some are in between. This is in between. Inside is not the best, but outside I like that it's a suede finish. It has the silver details. The silver details adds a lot of character to an outfit, which I love. It's a great travel jacket. I've traveled with it so many times, and it's, it's a bit heavy because of all the detail. I'm just going to put it over my shoulders, and but I do love it. I think it's, and it has a zipper, but I don't really use a zipper because I like to leave it open, and it looks pretty. So that's from Zara. That's the one jacket. The rest are a little bit longer. So those are the short ones. A longer jacket from Zara is a raincoat. This is a typical raincoat, so it won't keep you warm. It won't keep you cool. It will basically just keep you away from the rain. And it has gold detail. So I like the details in jackets because I feel like it gives that element and I don't go too crazy. So you saw the silver, you're going to see gold in this one and you'll see rose gold in another one. And I love the navy blue with yellow gold. I just absolutely love it. And it's such a perfect raincoat. It has pockets. I absolutely love this one. Also, I have this from my university days. I remember going to university with it. So maybe 2014. Love. This you could layer. This is something fun that you could layer. 
and have in your wardrobe so that you can just put on like a long sweater, layer that over and you're ready to go. This is a utility style jacket. This is from H&M. This has a rose gold detail. So I have it in, I have the details in all three colors. I love the green. Typical utility and we all know that if you go onto any of the websites, utility will come and go, but it will always be there somewhere or another. So this is my favorite. H&M normally has it every autumn, winter, so just keep an eye, on, keep an eye out for that. And yeah, I do like it. It's not as heavy as the Zara jacket, even though it's longer, but it's just something that it ties an outfit quite cute and I like that it has this little thing so you can zip it up and then also tie it here. So it gives your body a shape, which is not too shabby. Another utility jacket is the Woody's one. I'm not going to try this. Also have it for some time now. Also re... It's a size 12, so I don't even take a size 12 anymore. It is quite oversized for me. It's my... If it's raining and I need to go to the shops quickly, that's the jacket that I wear. The only thing I don't like about this jacket is the tail that it has. I don't really get this part. I know at one stage most of the jackets were coming like this. I don't understand it. So I'm just going to leave that as is. Moving over to trench coats. I used to love trench coats, but as I, as my style developed, I realized what would make me happy in terms of style and buying coats and what wouldn't. And this is something that I've kept. Also, university days, 2013, 2014, love it. Absolutely adore it. It's a relaxed trench coat. We should all have a relaxed trench coat in our wardrobe. It so you can, I specifically wore this outfit so that I can show you how it will look. Fitted top, jeans, heels, and something so relaxed ties the outfit together, which is what we want essentially. It's when you look in the mirror and you're like, something's missing. Put on a coat, add that third piece, you'll look amazing. I said this is from Woody's, right? Yeah. Now, the last one is a blazer. I was looking for this blazer for a very long time and I know many of you love it. It is from Cotton On. It is the oversized blazer. I know I work from home but it's just something that's quite cool to have. I have a video on how to roll up the sleeve so you can check that out. I would normally, I wouldn't button it, I would belt it to give it a more structured feeling and I like the way it just feels. Very comfortable, it has a lining Love. Check out Cotton On or Superbalist, the Cotton On section, for the oversized blazers. It really does help. And if you have an outlet store nearby, go there and check as well. This is where I got mine, from the outlet store. So, that's my jackets. I hope you enjoyed it. I will be doing them as the weather changes, so I keep it more relevant. So, if it's coming to winter, I'll do like knitwear. Then it's just, it makes sense. I hope you enjoyed this video. And until the next one, bye!